The craziest thing I've ever seen was a truckload of logs that did not have to go on any road. Even, even with not going on any road, the driver should have been arrested for how, how overloaded the machine was. I can't explain to you how, how insane and terrifying it was to see that many logs on one truck. Don't go into wood science if you don't like change and if you don't like things going wrong and having to solve problems, because there will be problems. I'll, I'll never forget the moment when a six inch steel shaft on one of our saws snapped. That shaft was attached to a 5,000 pound flywheel and the emergency braking system in the machine prevented the flywheel from leaving the building. Another event that I will never forget is what a two inch fuse bus looks like when it's been melted by a surge of electricity. So you gotta have a little bit of grit. Yes, yes, it does not hurt. It, it's satisfying to me because I enjoy problem solving. I enjoy challenges like that. And I also enjoy working with wood, taking a round log and making rectangular wood. There's something about that I, that I enjoy. Probably the best stories that stick with me are, are the ones that come from people that I've worked with that were older than I was at the time. And their explanation of how things used to work and how things are working now. And good luck to me in the future because things would be different. The industry, the technology, the tools you use are always changing. The things you're taught now are a good base, but they're not the same skills and knowledge that you'll need in 15 or 20 years. You know, and I've been forewarned many times about the change in the industry. And that's, that is a constant truth. The first time you go through it, it's quite a shock.